Hello everyone and welcome back to another NFL video. In this video, I'll be doing my scouting report for Michael Penix, so let's get into it. So the quarterback out of Washington has elite arm talent. He excels on throwing the deep ball. He puts great touch on his deep ball. Now he can also put tight velocity on his passes when he needs to. He has great overall accuracy. His deep accuracy is incredible. He throws well along the sideline. His short and intermediate accuracy is good. He does lead receivers well to set up run after catch, which is always a good thing to see. His decision making is solid. He's able to target favorable matchups. He sometimes does force the ball deep to covered receivers. He shows he can accurately throw in the tight windows and has the willingness to. He's not the best athlete, but is good enough. He rarely scrambles, but still does have a good sense of the pocket. He's good at buying time to make a throw. He has a good throw under pressure. At times, he does have choppy footwork, which can lead to some inaccurate throws. He can throw on the move well, which includes rollout passes. He can make progressions well. He did benefit from a wide receiver trio that was very good and will be in the NFL, as well as an elite offensive line, so maybe there's another small knock there. He has about average quarterback size, but he does have a major injury history. Penis Jr. played great the last two years. On top of staying healthy, he showcased his arm and accuracy. He can make the big time throws while also staying poised in the pocket. He will still have to prove he can play well without a great supporting cast. Injuries and age will tank his draft stock potentially to the second round. Now as for the games I watched, ranked best to worst, all from 2023, Texas in the semifinal, Michigan State, Cal, Oregon in the regular season, USC, Utah, Oregon in the Pac-12 championship, and Oregon State. Now for possible teams, the range is kind of wider because I could still see him win the first round, but with his age and injury history, as I mentioned, he may fall to the second round. So I do have some teams on here that could take him in the first round, but also have a second round pick where he might be available in that spot. I have the Falcons here. They pick at pick 43 in the second round, as well as pick eight in the first round. I think 43 is more likely to find a Desmond Ritter replacement. Still could use that eighth pick, maybe on like an edge rusher. The Raiders over here pick at 13th and also at 44 the pick after the Falcons in the second round. I can see that happening there as well. The Vikings could take a quarterback if they want to move on from Kirk Cousins. I would not do that personally. I would keep him around for at least one more year. But it seems like his asking price is pretty high, so we'll have to see about that. The Steelers are on here. Again, could happen first or second round. Kenny Pickett has not proved that he's the guy. The Patriots, I think at third overall, I'm probably going to take Jana Daniels. But if not, maybe in the second round. Because I believe they do have the second pick in the second round. And I can definitely see that happening there. And the Seahawks. You know, Washington connection there, obviously. Could definitely look to replace, you know, Smith here as I believe they have out in this contract, which they can use. Anyway, that's my Michael Penix Jr. scouting report. I'm Arto, and thank you for watching.